In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine waveform symmetries, whether they're even, odd, or half-wave symmetry. Let's start with a bit of theory. If a function is symmetrical about the origin, that is, it reflects about both axes, it is called an odd function. Other features include a Fourier series with only sine terms and no constant. Also, if you substitute negative x into your function, you should end up with the negative version of your function, and that's denoted right here. Next, if the function is symmetrical about the y-axis, it is called an even function. Its Fourier series contains only cosine terms, and it may or may not contain a constant. In addition, substituting negative x into where you see x's in your function will result in the same function. Finally, when a negative half-cycle of a periodic wave has the same shape as the positive half-cycle except that it's inverted, we say that the wave has a half-wave symmetry. The sine wave, cosine wave, as well as the following waveform shown below, all exhibit half-wave symmetry. Take, for example, the waveform you see here. Notice that the cycle begins right here, and it ends over here. Now to test for half-wave symmetry, you take a look at the negative part of the cycle. So the blue is the negative part of the cycle, and you select a point along the negative part of the cycle. Let's select this part. As you can tell, the y-coordinate of this point is negative 1. Now half cycle away, we have this point, and its y-coordinate appears to be 1. 1 and negative 1 have the same magnitude, but opposite signs. And because that's the case, this waveform exhibits half-wave symmetry. That being said, let's start with the first question. We're asked, is y is equal to x to the power of 3 odd? What we do to test for this is substitute into x, negative x. So we have negative x raised to the power of 3. That gives us negative x to the power of 3. Notice that this is the negative version of what we started with. So by definition, this is odd. And the same thing can be said about all x with odd-powered exponents. 1, 5, and 7 will exhibit the same behavior. In question two, is the function y is equal to x squared even? Substituting negative x into here will give us the same function. And the same thing can be said about even powered exponents. So yes, this is even, and yes, this is odd. Question three is the more difficult question. We're asked to label each function as odd, even, or neither, and then which functions have half-wave symmetry? We'll start with this part of the question, odd, even, or neither. And for reference, we're told that odd have a symmetry about both axes, even have a symmetry about the y-axis, and we've already discussed what half-wave symmetry looks like. So let's start with the first one. Now, if we were to reflect along the y-axis, this part of the wave with this part of the wave, it would not look identical. It would not reflect. And if we were to reflect it about the y and the x, it still wouldn't look the same. So this is neither, neither odd or even. Is it a half-wave symmetry? Well, first we have to define where the cycle begins and ends. The cycle starts here and ends here. The negative part of the cycle starts here and ends here. If I were to pick a random point along this part of the wave, let's say over here, and half cycle away, we have it over here, the y-coordinate is negative 1 and the y-coordinate is positive 1. Since they're the same thing, this exhibits half-wave symmetry, so yes. Let's try the next. If I were to reflect this waveform along the y-axis, it would look identical. So right from the get-go, I know that this is even. To determine if it's a half-wave symmetry, take a look at where the cycle starts and stops. The cycle starts over here. That's the positive end. And the negative end is over here. Now if I were to select a point along this part, let's say I selected a point right here, we can say that the y-coordinate is negative 1. Half cycle away, let's say to the left, would be this point. Its y-coordinate is equal to 1. 1 and negative 1 have the same magnitude, yet they have opposite signs. Therefore, this is indeed a half-wave symmetry. So I'll write down yes. Let's move on to question C. In question C, our waveform starts here and ends here. It is clearly an even function, because if I were to reflect it about the y-axis, it would look identical to the rest of the waveform. 
However, if I were to select a point here and half cycle away would be over here, the y coordinates are the same. Therefore, this is not a half wave symmetry. So I'll say that it's even and it's not a half wave symmetry. Interestingly, if I were to move the x axis so that instead of being down here, it's in the middle, the negative half cycle would be identical to the positive half cycle. And only then would it have half wave symmetry. In question D, it appears to be a cosine wave. And as you can tell, it's an even function if we were to split it down the middle and reflect it about the y axis. Now to test for half wave symmetry, let's split this waveform like so. Selecting a point down here, the negative part, half cycle away will be positive and will have the same y coordinate. So this is a half wave symmetry. In question E, if we were to reflect this about the y axis, it would not look identical. And if we were to reflect it about the x axis and the y axis, it would still not look identical to the rest of the waveform. So this is neither. The negative half of this waveform, let's say over here, half cycle to its right will not give us the same y coordinate. So this one is not a half wave symmetry. Finally, in question F, our waveform starts here and it presumably ends over here. The negative part is what's being highlighted. Selecting this random point will have the same y coordinate but opposite signs over here. So yes, this is half wave symmetry and is neither odd or even. And there you have it. That is how to determine waveform symmetries.